Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, Big Tahunga. We've chosen the correct road for this particular vehicle. Uh, this is Peter, and thank you so much for coming My all the pleasure. way from San Francisco. Yeah, that's yeah. a haul. But you got this is a good road tripper. Yeah, this it's car, it's a like perfect road trip car. So, 2015 Chevy SS. This one's an auto. Uh, mm -hmm. It's got Mag Ride because it's a 15, and uh, you've done a few custom touches to it, uh, yeah. cosmetically, black out the trim, wheels, yeah. whatever, Super Sport tires. More importantly. 2.9 liter Whipple supercharger under the hood. Yeah, I, I'd say that's uh, as good as you're gonna get from a bolt-on. Yeah, that's a that's a serious bolt-on, yeah, but it yeah. is technically a bolt-on. Uh, so you said this is a gain of 125 horsepower at the wheel over stock. At least, yeah. So you said it dynoed 380 at the wheel stock and now is 505 at the tire stock. Yep, that's correct. Which, uh, which we discussed earlier, that, that sounds like low but it could just be a low reading dyno and i imagine this thing is stupid fast it's a lot of fun well let's uh let's see how it is let's have a let's have a go let's uh would you say you want to kick it over into sport and then not use manual mode well, or you use, can i want to use guy manual tuned mode the box says it's faster than you are and i tend to believe him but okay you know people say that to me a lot and i never believe them. <laughs> it doesn't matter i mean that's what's more fun these cars, you know, I've said it before, this is a, a, a more modern E39 M5. Uh, Streya from Streya. Yeah. So what drew you to this thing? Honestly, it, it was a combination of the sleepiness of it. You know, it's it looks like any old Chevy rental car. Yeah. You know, nobody knows what it is. It doesn't seem like a hot car or a fancy car. True. Uh, and then there's the, the quality to price ratio. I mean, you get so much for it so little in this in this car i mean new they ask 49 for these but even gm was doing like 25 percent off this yeah thing. you can make deals on these cars they, yeah. they can't move them and, and they're around especially if you're not looking for a stick yeah the sticks are harder to get and, <laughs> and, and they're a lot of fun that is very powerful <laughs> and, you know that's why it's you good put a it's good. It's it's a sleepy sleeper. Um, and then you know, you, it's got all the creature comforts. It's uh, I think it's a fantastic deal. Heated and cold seats. Yeah. That's where what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice. And there's something also nice about having a platform is sort of incredibly normal as the Zeta platform. Which, uh -huh. you know, obviously, I wish it were an Alpha platform. Says those are so fantastic. They are the Alpha platform stuff is is really really good up to and including the new CTSV which rips. I, um, I imagine. The new CTSV is insanely fast. Look at this. Yeah. Uh, manual mode's not that bad. Um, but the thing about it, you know, you can put a supercharger in this engine and people you know say that you worry about voiding the warranty. Buy a brand new LS3 built and totally forged internals for yeah. you know blueprint. Blow a motor, it's you know it'll be six eight grand. Yeah, not thirty. Right. You know if you're talking about a 911, I mean you still you might not want to risk six eight grand in a new car, but you're not you're not pushing enough power that it, that's even really a concern, are you? No, I mean, not not at all. And, maybe, and maybe if you were doing like you know 120 degree track days or something like that, but. If this is your daily driver, you know the how much how much boost does this thing run? It's like eight pounds. Eight pounds. Eight pounds is not blowing up an LS motor. No way. No way. It's not happening. And there's room to expand if you want to play with the car. And, and if you don't live in California, you can put a, a set of good headers on it. Yeah. And then with this, you know eight pounds, what you got now, you can pull it up a little bit and run twelve pounds and just a ridiculous amount of power with this big blower. Well, yeah, 2.9 is, is a big displacement for a blower. And 2.9, for those who don't know, is the actual displacement of the blower. So I think the, is the, ZR, uh, the Z06, is it a 1.9? Yeah, it's a tiny. Yeah, the Z06 is a 1.9. Yeah, and so by running more boost through a smaller blower, you get more heat than by running less boost through a bigger blower. So hence the, the 2.9 really is is under stressed at, at yeah, this power I mean, level all day long yeah all 
all day. And, you know, being able to go a little bigger if you want is cool. And, I mean, I like the, I like the positive displacement. You know, I, wanted, I was looking for a U-turn, sorry. No, I, I completely agree. And we and I've seen um, the, uh, the Z06s, you know, r running the, a stock boost level with a bigger blower yields like insane gains, like yeah. uh, like almost un beyond belief gains. Um, oh, there's there's the spot right there. We came a little further down the road than I thought we were gonna go. Well, Turns out we were whipping. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this is a is a lovely little package. These cars, and you know they're they're really a, just a ton of car for for the money. Um, even out of the box. All right, uphill. Yeah. So the brakes worked good down the hill. Let's see, engine up the hill. It really doesn't, you know, it doesn't change the characteristics of the car at all, other that's than adding the, more power. That's what I was saying about the you know, positive displacement, you know, a supercharger. Yeah, it's gonna just be the same, but more. Yeah, you know, it's just it's as there. if your engine displacement was increased by almost three. It's the same as having a nine-liter V8, <laughs> is what you're trying to say. But I'd really like to have a dive leader V8 anyway. Yeah. This uh, this car and this road are really well matched. It's really nice on these open sweepers uh, where you can carry some speed. Uh, I mean, I think it handles pretty nicely, too. It, it's it's it a does. big car, so it's heavier than... I forget. What are these weigh? Are they over four? I think it's 39. 38 or 39, yeah. Something, but, you know, with the blower on it. and It'll, well, it'll easily be four without... My fatness, which adds some extra weight as well. Well, so. driver weight is driver weight, you know. But but it, it, you're also managing expectations, right? If you if you think about a Camaro or a Mustang that's 3,800 pounds, you go know, out well, for a sports car that's you know kind of heavy. But for a, a, a four seat sedan that you could use as a fucking limo if you wanted, yeah. you know, it's really <laughs> not that bad. That's what my uh, buddy told me. Saw the car. I was like, oh, so you're an Uber driver. So you're now. an Uber driver now. We should drive Uber in this. People would really, really poo themselves. I had a, I, you know, Uber. They they have it up in the canyons in Malibu now. There's a lot of Ubers running around, and I get tweets all the time from people that are like, I just took the craziest Uber up the snake, and the guy was like whipping. It was so funny. <laughs> this uh, car is there. It has. I mean, all right, if I really, really wanted to pick it apart, if I really Why wanted to, like, just, like, even though it's only 13,000 miles and a year old, I mean, ma like, some of the leather is, like, a little shiny for me and that, that kind of stuff, but the seats are comfortable, it's really fast, yes, and it and handles really so well, and it rides really well. Is there a, what, um, what, uh, what oh. suspension motor are we in? I think... Well, Where do I? Where's the switch? I can't switch. remember. Oh yeah, right. And you have to look up. For right. I want to. Up. Oh, in the. Oh, hang on. I'm. I'm going slow, but where's my? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's such a small icon. Okay, we're gonna go into performance driving mode. I was in sport before. Let's see what the difference is. Yeah, honestly, I can't really tell what no. the difference. But I'm not a fantastic driver, so. You know. Oh, it's stiffer. Yeah. I just feel more of the road. Yeah, it's not that bad. It still absorbs the big stuff, but I, I feel more of the little imperfections in the road. Wow, you really have to, you really gotta watch the speedometer because it does mask the speed, <laughs> doesn't it? You look yeah. down, you holy shit, this thing is going. That's, um, there's something about big, driving a big car fast that's weird like that. Um, I, I know what you mean. how fast you're going. I completely know what you mean. That's every AMG car on the planet. You look down, you're going, I'm going 140? What? <laughs> this is, but, you know, this. these things have, okay, I people, the BMW people get super mad when you make the E39 comparison. The E39 M5 is a lovely, lovely car, but it's insanely expensive to keep it running with high mileage versus what the car's worth. It's missing some fairly key modern features. You know, the nav is all old and all that kind of stuff. And, I don't know, this this is a really good alternative, but the problem is nobody will cross-shop them, because someone who wants a BMW will not be happy with a Chevy. You know, but, but if you're, you know, an enthusiast BMW guy and you want an, you know, an E39, that's, it's an older car, 
honestly, yeah. I don't think it can keep up performance-wise. I mean, I've been, well, certainly not with the supercharged one. Yeah. Um, but even, yeah, the stock SS is a little quicker than an E39 yeah. 5 for sure. But these paddle shifters are not bad. I mean, it's not a, it's not a PDK, but it gets the job done. Yeah, this is nice. These, these cars are, they're such bargains for what, for the amount of car that you're getting with the, the space, the luxury, the features, um, that, you know, I like the manual, but you live in, in, in the city in San Francisco. So I totally get that. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I forgive you. I a hundred percent forgive you, but this is the, I mean, this is great. It's, it's great. I highly recommend a 2.9 Whipple. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank you. Check it. out uh, Peter's wheel well. See, uh, see his complete modification list, more photos, build sheets, stuff like that. Check out what's going on in my garage and my wheel well. And, uh, of course, I, I wish you a safe trip back to San Francisco. Yeah, I you. suggest you go that way because it's much <laughs> more fun than going that way. Uh, and we'll, of course, we'll see you guys up here in the canyons tomorrow. Thanks. Later.